It is Indiana in the morning. As always, we are presented by First Commonwealth Bank here on AM 1160 WCCS and 101.1 FM. So championship night is here almost. A little bit later this afternoon, there will be four championship caliber basketball teams gathering at the Cavalci Complex for the Heritage Conference Championships. One of those teams taking on the Homer Center Wildcats will be the West Shimokan Wolves. And we've got some of the Wolves players on the telephone with us uh, where they're getting ready for it. Has the pep rally happened yet, Katie? Uh, yeah, we actually had it about five minutes ago. Oh, yeah? Pretty cool? Yeah, it was pretty cool. <laughs> Katie Glover is on the telephone with us. Uh, she's one of the forwards on the basketball team. She's the rebounding menace. <laughs> Katie, how how excited are you about uh, playing on the KCAC court tonight? Oh, I'm very exciting. Ex- excited. <laughs> it was so fun going to practice there yesterday. Yeah. The court is crazy. Did it open up your eyes a little bit about how big that floor is? Oh, yeah, it definitely did. Yeah. It's a lot longer than the high school court. Yeah, yeah, and uh, you get to play in front of a huge crowd. Um, you're a senior. Yep. <laughs> and, and this is your first year in the Heritage Conference. Tell me about the season. Has it been fun for you? Yeah, the season has been really awesome. This is the best that Westbrook and girls basketball has done, well, like, ever. So it's pretty great to be a part of the team. Yeah, and you get to match up again against Homer Center, and we remember that game of a few weeks ago. Um, I know that's not the the most pleasant memory for you, but you get a chance to avenge the loss tonight, huh? Yeah, this has been... We knew we'd match up with them after that game. We knew we'd see them later down the road, so Um, we're all pretty excited to get another chance. Yeah, well, we're going to look forward to the game tonight, and we'll have it on 92.5 FMU 92 and on 1160 WCCS and on 101.1 FM. Katie, good luck to you. Who else do you have there with you? Um, I have Andrea Orlowski and Olivia Fazera. All right. Put one of them on the line for me. Okay. <laughs> we don't know which Hi. one. They said they were going to go left or right. Which one is this? This is Andrea Orlowski. Hey, Andrea. How are you? I'm good. Well, are you, are you really looking forward to tonight? Yeah, I'm very excited. Now, you love to go to High Post and, and distribute, and, and you can create offense from there as well. Talk about working on that particular floor with all of that space around you. That should really play to your strengths, shouldn't it? Yes. Um, when we were running, like yesterday we practiced, when we got on the court, since um, Homer runs like a zone, we've been practicing like, or a zone press, like we've been practicing and we have so much court left and we're able to like take the ball and like get down there faster and it's going to be really good. You uh, are another of the seniors on the ball team, right? And uh, you and Katie, um, and, and there are other seniors, aren't there? Yeah, Jason Huth. Uh, Jason Huth, she's a senior as well, and she's in the starting lineup as well. Um, yeah. For you guys uh, who are in your final year of high school basketball, what does it mean to you to actually be a part of the Heritage Conference now and to get this chance to play at the KCAC? It's honestly a great experience. Like, when we found out we were going to Heritage, we are like, okay, like, there's new matchups, completely new, like, scenarios, and then... The fact that we made it this far and were able to play at the Kowalczyk Center is just, like, beyond, like, what any of us could have imagined. And and plus, though, you get to play AAU ball, I would assume, with a bunch of the girls from all of these schools around this area, including some Homer Center girls, huh? Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, what's the big challenge in playing Homer Center? What do they do that you know that you have to stop? Well, we, when we first played, like, the first half, we didn't come out, like, with fire and, like, how we knew we should play like we I don't know we weren't like on our game and then when they came up and pressed it was like I don't we weren't like into it I guess I don't know but now that like we've been preparing and like every team so far has like put on a press it's basically the press is like what our biggest thing we have been practicing and like we're ready like we got it all down we've been practicing that all week and I think we're in good shape for it well we're looking forward to it tonight now you have Olivia there with you as well yes can I speak to her All right. Hello. Hey, Olivia. How are you? Good. How are you? Wonderful. Hey, I wanted to ask you this because the guard play in the Heritage Conference is so strong this year, and uh, you and Emily uh, will be matching up tonight, and uh, and the Homer Center players and the West Shemokin players are going to get together on the KCAC court. When you know that you're playing against another really good guard, does that pick your game up a little bit too? Um, We all, well, we all as guards have to play our best tonight, so... I just hope to come out with just as much as not more fire than Homer's guards and just go out there and put in work. What are some of the things that you know you're going to have to do to uh, to win this basketball game tonight? 
um, we are going to have to use our speed to our advantage, get rebounds and get out quick, push the ball fast down the court, and just play smart. Talking with Coach Negi earlier this week uh, and uh, how much he enjoys working with you guys, um, I would assume it goes the other way around. He seems like he's a good coach to play for. Yes, we enjoy very much playing for him. Yeah. KCAC, you practiced there last night. Uh, the other girls were talking about the size of the floor. As as a guard uh, and all that running that you do, you penetrate, you run up and down the floor. With all that extra space, does that help you? Does that uh, sort of uh, intimidate you at all, or are you ready to go? Well, I'm ready to go. We're going to try to use the court space to our advantage, especially against their press, have all the extra room to move around and make good cuts and get open for the ball. How badly does West Shemokin want to be the Heritage Conference champ? We want it bad. We want to, We were the champs for volleyball. We just want to keep going and win for basketball, too. Well, the best of luck to you tonight. Thanks for being on the phone with us this morning. Thank you for we, calling. Tell my son to behave himself, okay? <laughs> I will. All right, thank you. Thanks, Olivia. Thank you. There you go. The West Shemokin basketball player is on the air with us here this morning. They're getting set for their uh, visit to the Kovalchi Complex tonight. We hope to see you there as well.